Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we get started on a brand new LP on the channel. This is going to be something that I've wanted to do for a while, or we've wanted to do for a while. Yep, Prism's back. Oh, yep, yeah. Back I've, again. Oh, God. I guess he's back. I see, I hate when people say that. I can't not say the rest. But anyway, <sighs> fucking Eminem. <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we are playing the relatively brand new Bayornian class. It's, uh, I want to say, shit. Uh, it's it's new, but not super super new. It's not new to the Tolkien universe. No, no, no I mean, I mean new to the game. I mean, it's been out a few weeks and and stuff like that. So I mean, it's in fact they released it in not even like an actual expansion. It was just a small little patch, basically. They're like, here, we love you guys. Yeah, pretty. We give you a new class to play. Pretty much. Um, I'm excited for it because it's 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 a support class, and I like support classes and, and stuff like that in MMOs. And I like Lord of the Rings stuff and, and all that good shit. Um, what we are going to do, just to give you a heads up in this LP, we are going to just really... The only thing we're going to really do on camera is the... The... Storyline? Yeah, like the main... The, the, the epic storyline and shit like that. Oh boy, my stuff is all big. I need to... <laughs> I need to make that smaller... And all that good stuff. <laughs> you, um, what, you don't want to see his pimples I'm on not, his face? I'm not going to read all of this shit to you guys and stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave it up long enough. Where you can pause it? Yeah, if you really, read it. really want to read it, go ahead and pause it. I suggest doing so. I usually kind of skim through it and and stuff like that. I mean, I thought his name was named Starkist for something. Yeah, I know, right? Starkist? Yeah, Starkist. Oh, okay, all right. But anyhow, um... Yeah. That's that's about it. Um, like I said, we are we are going to do um maybe some like some other shit like uh whatever you wanna call it. Uh uh what the hell? Um like some deeds and stuff like that. Mm. And try to help you show you where like the really hard ones are at. Yeah, if you have if yeah. Massive killed quests are a lot easier to find compared yeah. to some of them where they're locational. Like trash quests or like quest hubs and stuff like that. We're not gonna do. What the hell are you doing? It's Rabidash! Radadash? I call him Rabidash. Radagast? Radagast the Brown? Mm -hmm. Probably my favorite wizard in the. <laughs> I like him Rings. in the movies. I know, you know he's not supposed to be there, but well, no, no, he, he is. He, he plays a huge part actually in the story. I mean, it not like he's not all of. You read the books. He's not everywhere, but he kind of is. You know, he's he's around, and 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 all that stuff. And he does a lot of things, but behind the scenes, he's not as. He's not a Gandalf. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not like everywhere like Gandalf. Is. This is very instanced. So far, I mean, well, yeah, you're, it's you're, the this, yeah, as I say, this is the same thing as like when you start off a human or or, or, or that shit. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. Find, find the mad cow disease. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> You'll see find, on your quest. Find the mad cow That's disease. That's what I'm calling it. That's funny. But the Bayorians, to me, sound more like a druid almost. Yeah, they are. They're very druidic and, and shape shifty. That's that's what they are. Like they're a race of druids, basically. That's not a Vegans. class. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, they are actually. Actually, are they? Well, I they don't remember. eat meat. No, they will not eat meat. I, they don't eat other animals. They are completely vegetarian. Well, then why are they raise motherfucking cows and shit? For friends. Or milk. Well, you can. Talk to them. <laughs> Technically, Bayernians can actually talk to animals. Well, that, actually, there's a lot of there's a lot of animal speakers in Lord of the Rings, though. Oh, I mean, Rat Ra Radagast. The yeah, Radagast is a big one. Gandalf. Gandalf, I believe, can if I remember right. Yeah, he whispers to the little. Moth. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Got a good point. And um, the Bard, Eagles Bard the Bowman. Can talk to the sparrows. Yes. Yes, I yes. have my. Yes. And I always thought that was cool too, though, like the the ability to to speak oh, to animals and shit like that. I always I always like that. Oi, <laughs> oi, what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be. Fun. I'm a bear. That's 
go. Oh, it only lasts for so long. Sorry, I, I gotta read this for a second. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. Mm. No one is my master. Oh, you have grown stuff. Oh, he wants to fight. My fucker wants to fight. Yeah, it's gonna be... They are, yeah, they do have interesting mechanics that are a little, that are a little different. They're very similar to the warrior mechanics in, um, WoW, if you've played that. Cause yeah, they got basically oh, the a wrath. They, yeah, they, they call it wrath in this game, but it's rage. Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. And you spend that to do some kinky shit and whatnot. Blah, 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 blah. And all that good stuff. I kind of like how they're using two-handed two weapons already. And I'm not poking oh. somebody with a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Bitch wants to go. It's like, I'm a bear, bitch. You can ready to turn into a bear. Yes, yes, you do. You, you do. It, it is It is only, only like, momentary, though. Oh, well, yeah, because you're not spec to. Well, it, it's... it's it, You're not meant to be in bear form all the time, though. Bayornings aren't quite like that. Although, Bayorn could turn into a bear for a very, very long, long time. Like when he was following, well, when he was following the the dwarves and everybody, when they went on their way to uh, went to the fucking uh, what is it called the fucking uh, oh my yeah. god that one forest Mirkwood yeah when they went south to Mirkwood, after meeting up with Bayorning, Bayorning, Bayorn, yeah all the help. I wish they made him in. more like a werebear compared to an actual just looking bear. He is a little bit in the movies. That's what you're referencing, right? Yes. Yeah, he is a little bit, like a little little differently shaped. I mean, yeah, I, I, I agree with you yeah, there, but also Bayornings aren't meant to be wear bears. I mean, story-wise in the books and stuff, they are. Yeah, they, they assume the actual shape of a bear. They are supposed to be hulking and fearsome and scary as shit, but they're still fucking bears. I mean, that's it's just the way it is. Although, apparently they can grab stuff, because, I mean, obviously if you read, uh, if you read, uh, my god, my, my mind is... Just the Hobbit? Yeah, 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 exactly, fuck. Can't not find the name of that book, which is amazing. What's it actually? Stuff. But I like how they portrayed Bay uh, Bayorn in The Hobbit. The, yeah, The yeah. book, I should say. I didn't think the he was movie, too bad in the movie I, he's either. He's not bad in the movie, but I expected him to be fatter and bigger and bulkier. More, more cheery. Not cheery. I, I meant him to be like rumpy, but more like I guess a really fat lumberjack. Yeah. Kind of like. Kind of like a Santa Claus, like an earthy Santa Claus. Well, kind of, <laughs> kinda, but yeah. not as cheery. <laughs> I expected him to still be grumpy. It's just I had this image of my in my head. Yeah, of, yeah, him being a bit more rotund. Rotund. Yeah. And in yeah, the I movie, that, he yeah. was just kind of more, I guess. Lean ish. He was still big. They still portrayed yeah, him to still, be very tall. Yeah. And ultra weird hairy. Yeah. The actor they have for him, I can't remember his name, but he was he was also in Rome's. It's Cillian something or other. I can't remember his name. I think. I think it's Smush the it. Bugs. Yeah. But anyway, he they did pick a pretty good actor, in my honest opinion. He did a good job. His the sister Lagar. His facial expressions were really good. Yeah. I just ex is yeah, it? just expected him to be a bit more rotund. Yeah, he kind of he was very he was like very druidic though, in in my honest opinion, I, I think they did a good job of bringing him across as a very druidic, making Bayornings at least well, look very druidic. Well, wild man basically. Oh. Yeah, he was like a wild man, you know. Kind of. I mean, that, that's just the way I kind of, you know. Oh shit, lady, you're running without me. <laughs> right. I want to talk to you. It's the same thing. I'm talking about stuff and stuff. I think. Oh my god! I thought her name was Carrot, but it's Karak. <laughs> Awful <laughs> mouth. Wow. By the way, like this. Oh god, I, I really do like the storylines in these games, or this game rather. I mean, is your I, name Einthor? Anthor. Oh, Anthor. Anthor. Oh god, lady. <laughs> Quit running so fast. I do like their fucking... Their, 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 um... They remind me of those one peoples are up north. Oh, the Lasoth? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By yeah. the way, there's lots of different races and... Well, they're still human. There's lots of different, like, cultures. This is what you're looking for. Lots of different cultures. And that's one thing I've always liked about Lord of the Rings. There's so many different cultures in, in the universe that it made 
made humans, you know, in, in every way, shape, or form, you know, completely different. I haven't leveled! Shit, I haven't leveled yet. You're way past me. Something's not right. Can you fit? Oh, are we about to get jumped, kid? God damn. Ah, goblins! Awesome oh, she just went bare. Bitch is pissed! Uh, and like I said, the story in oh, this game... I wonder if you can change the skins of your bear. Yes, they, they, they change slightly upon, uh, depending on what uh, facial features you have. Oh. I don't know if the because skins themselves... Yeah, I don't know if the skins themselves, but they did change that, actually. They added, just added that. The, the ability for you to, like, the like the little facial markings and stuff you've got, like the little war paint that you got going on, that changes, or that shows up on your bear now. Yeah, right on the eye. Yeah, which is fucking cool. I don't know, like I said, if, if the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you saw that. <laughs> that was she a glitch. just slides across there. No, the environment, I always thought in Lord of the Rings was very pretty. Yeah. I wonder if you see a Minecraft tree again. I don't wonder. I haven't seen one yet. But yes, the, they did a really good job in this game, just giving you a nice, nice environment to wander through. I, I do still believe, though, that they need to. I've said this many a times before that they really need to update the character models, just like they did with World of Warcraft recently. They really need to do that in this game. I think that would be uh, fucking fantastic. And there's no way to get in from this site, is there? I gotta go all nope, the way around. Nope, you gotta go all the way around. God damn it! Hopefully, they don't pull a zillion fucking goblins and shit but anyway like like i was saying that's that's one thing that i really wish they would change is just to you know just give you just updated stuff you know update the engine a little bit give you more hair yeah i mean just Beards. little things like that honestly especially in a game that is heavy on role playing like this is it, it would it would go a long way to making the experience that much better i mean i was excited when they added that new shit to world of warcraft i mean you know like I said, who wouldn't be excited when they added that shit to... Oh, shit, son, you went nuts. Well, I'm just standing here watching guard. Go to Grimbeon. I'm pretty sure Grimbeon knows. Ah, those, like, little beehives, I think they are. By the way, we do get a spell with to, like, send bees at people. Yeah. How badass is that? The lore masters have things like that. Have a that? little bit, yeah. I well, one of the fighting. pets do that too. What for the lore master? For the lore master, the pet, the swamp, the bog creature thing. Yeah, he actually like shakes yeah. his little shell and yeah, bees come flying the little, out. Yeah, the little turtle, the thing you call turtle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, turtle. <laughs> Our sister was not hurt, was she? I don't think so. She was, she was chill when I found her. Oh, no, she'll come back. Okay, don't worry. all she's right. Chilling. Some goblins have thick skulls, and she might carelessly chip a tooth. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> We must still grim bayorn and stuff. Well, Alright, go right ahead, Starkist. Tell him. Goblins, then goblins, don't attack us. Tell oh, shit, no, it's on, says grim bayorn. We're gonna fuck this shit up. I do mm -hmm. like this, though, because I like how they're setting up the story because they're sending Radagast, who comes on behalf of everyone on Middle Earth, to try and enlist the bayornings to help us fuck shit up. I kind of like that. I like how they made him short. Who? Radagast. Radagast. Yeah, yeah, he is kind of short. Well, Grim Bay. Oh, Grim Bayorns. Bayornings are are um are naturally very large, though. They're a very burly race of people, which also lends credence to your thoughts that Bayorn oh, should have been um, should have been a lot went bigger. Into, like super detail about yeah, Bayorn. Yeah. But like I said, it, it lends credence to to your to your reasoning behind you know wanting him to be a little bit bigger and more rotund. Oh, well, movie magic changes everybody's perceptions. Great, be silent. I will spare only one of my. Oh, lines. see, that's fucking badass. That's badass. I like that. See, I. You know, like I was telling you, well, yeah, like we were talking about before we started recording, you know, how people are kind of pissed that they threw Bayornings in because Bayornings aren't really supposed to be in Lord of the Rings. They're very few, very, 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 very few in number. Thus, you know, shouldn't be all about the fucking world and stuff in Lord of the Rings. But I like how he, Grim Bayorn just said he'll only send one, which is us, because we're fucking badass. Right? Right? I like that. It's just, you know, it, it, 
I, I like how the game is kind of set up for you pretty much to be like the only one of whatever class, especially Bayornings. They they reason it out so that you're the they're only not one very of your kind. Social people no, in they're general. Not. <laughs> they don't like other people. They don't people. like other people at all. Because as far as they know, the other races are just not very nice and they don't like why is my horse all fucked up? Okay. <laughs> His tail is sticking straight out. Nice. They have is All right, Radagast. Please tell me you don't have bird shit on your head again. Because that was just awkward. It's a very pretty horse, though. I want it. No, that is a cute horse. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah. That's something, too. I, like, I, I don't need dragons and all this badass stuff to ride. I'm pretty cool with it. Give me goats. Yeah, I'm just happy with a nice, cute horse, honestly. Well, I like some like little different things, like rams. Mm -hmm. Like the dwarves have, the goats. Mm -hmm. I like some different things. It's just, yeah, they can, like, Lord of the Rings has the largest amount of pretty horses. Yes. Yeah, they do have nice horses in this game. But they also have one of the best combat systems so far for riding on a horse. Yeah, they do have a pretty cool combat system, yeah. You'll eventually be able to see it, and then you can see Carrie fall yeah. on her face. Yeah. Oh! That you will. We end up at Bree. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, as I say, you should be... You should see me here in a second. Yeah. yeah as I say, you should you should start out... Yeah, as I say, this, you this little... you should be talking to Letty Foxtail. Ah, oh, the Ranger's Trail. Oh, you're up in, um... Mm -hmm. What's it called? Until then, farewell, my son, friend thing. All right, bitch, what up? Grab the boob. Use it as a horn. Cock. See you later, sis. Because <laughs> that's who she's supposed to be. Your sister? Yep. Oh. Alright. <laughs> oh. But that's a nice way they did that, though, for intertwining them so you can start at level 1. Nothing yeah. wrong with, like, having to start at level 50, but when you're a brand yeah. new class, it's easier to start at the beginning so then you can get used to your class. Well, I'd rather start at level 1 just because I really like the adventure in this game. Well, this is one of that's the most just... PvE MMOs out there. Yeah. Holy shit, we get all this fucking crap. Yeah, you get a lot of free shit. God damn! I haven't even looked at it yet. Open up, bags. Way to area Holy door. Where are we, then? Veils of Anduin. Nah, nah. Speak to Grimby on and she help give you what you fucking need. Yo, daddy-o. Give me my shit! I'm so used to the WoW controls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, bag, push B. That doesn't work in this game. Oh, you, you want to know what's awesome? What? Oh! <laughs> it walks me to whatever I click on. That it I do, man. makes mining so much easier. Oh, God. It makes everything so much easier. It's like, I am too lazy to walk across the courtyard. Right click. And then, oh, there you is. You might see me here in a second. Yeah, I, I should. As soon, as soon as this loads up here. And then we'll, and then we'll stop this episode here because I, I think that's good enough. So you got to see the beginning where the Bayornings start. Yeah. I kind of, like I said, I kind of like it. Also, if you read what Bayorn said, he said something about um, uh, sending more, possibly sending more Bayornings at a later date or later on down the road, which then kind of gives some sort of reasoning as to why you see other Bayornings about the world. You know, it's simple little things like that are, you know, what's, what, what's going to make... All the fucking sense and all that shit. Oh yeah, I got all this crap, I got all this crap, and got all this. Oh, crap. you can see me. Yep. I oh have a my on. god. Hello, Evie. I'm my like Evie. Why are we dressed in the same clothes? Anyhow, um, this is where we're gonna stop this episode. That about does it, cause yeah, we're, we're we'll pick it up next time and do more stuff, cause we're in our shit, right? This is after the shit went down, isn't it? Yeah, when all the stuff went burning. Oh, nice. And the guy, the one guy died. Yeah, nice. So we're in post arch it or post whatever arch. beginning <laughs> post beginning arch it. We're level five now. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Damn, that gave us a shit ton of experience. Oh well, yeah, the end. And they kind of just kicked us out at level five. But anyhow, that does it for this episode. If you like this video and all that good shit, like, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Normal YouTube stuff. Yeah. But anyway, remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. Bye.